power you're wielding. You need to hand this technology over to Monarch. I've prepared for what happens next. You say you're prepared, but no part of this plan of yours involves stopping it from happening. Even if I fix William's machine, what could you possibly hope to achieve? The end of time is coming. There's no way to- Hey! This isn't a debate. I just watched a ship fast forward through a fucking bridge. Time is running out, and the fracture's getting worse by the minute. And it cannot be stopped. Paul has been to the end of time. He's witnessed it firsthand. Can't you see? We prepared for what's next out of necessity. Your research is based on work by William Joyce. You respected him. He knew that the fracture would occur, but he also knew that it could be fixed. Will built a way to stop the fracture. This. The countermeasure. We're traveling to the past to retrieve it. You can help us get there faster. Or... You can agree to disagree. I'll have to run diagnostics on the machine. I can't promise anything before that. Amy, take Amaral to the machine. Keep an eye on her. Sure thing. Okay, doctor, let's go. And I can see right through you. Don't try anything stupid. You will regret it. Jack, before we head downstairs, we have to talk about something. Okay, what's up? It's about the plan. If Amaral gets the machine working... We go back to yesterday and undo all of this. Listen, in the video Will left for me, he said the countermeasure was stolen from his workshop on July 4th, 2010. He also said I took it. Maybe I did, Jack. We have a time machine. You're saying we go to 2010. We steal it. If Will was right, that would mean it wouldn't be a change. We take the countermeasure, bring it to the present, fix the fracture, save the world. Okay. Explain to me why that's a better plan than just going back to yesterday and preventing all this from happening in the first place. Because I'm afraid that based on what I know about time travel, we can't change anything. The past has already happened. We can't change it. But my way, we don't have to. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, my plan still feels simpler. Let's just get the machine working. Let's see how Dr. Amaral's doing with the time machine. Yeah. I don't think we can trust her. The way she looked at the countermeasure, like she's seen it before, she knows what it does. You think we'll told her about it? No. Will was never the kind to open up. I can relate. Will takes it to the next level. When we were kids, the only way that Will could express anything important to me was by informing my stuffed giraffe when I was in the room. That's precious. And weird. Did she find anything? I'm not sure. I'll go check. How's it look? The problem is quite simple, really. The power relay is down. You'll need to find a way to reset it up. There, where the light is. I'll lower the ladder for you. What happened to the power relay? Power surge occurred at 7 a.m. this morning, and the machine was activated. 7 a.m.? That's hours before we even got here. Well, the numbers don't lie. Okay. The console here's got two red lights, one green one. You'll have to reset the power to the two stations with the red lights before activating the relay. Both stations are located above the machine. Just follow the cables to the red lights. Above the machine. The perfect place for a reset switch, Will. <clears throat> OK. 
Okay, the first red light is now green. Good. One more to go. <clears throat> I'm not sure if you can reach the second one that way. You may have to climb down and reach <clears throat> the other side of the machine. Jack, you've got to see this. I'm serious, Jack. This is big stuff I've got here. Hey, shouldn't you be keeping an eye on Amaral? Okay, but first, you need to check out the intel I uncovered. All right, what is all this? I uploaded all the files I stole on that USB stick from the Monarch Security Station. I also found a video of your brother. It's on that TV. You're gonna want to see it. Everything else I printed out and put on tables over there. Okay. The date is... February 28th. Jesus, Will. William Joyce. 1999. After months First experiment. of arduous work, my machine is finally ready for human testing. Ready is defined by me, since ready is obviously a relative term when you're dealing with the deformation of the chronon field and recreating of black hole's mass density by tangent. Okay, in short summary, I built a time machine and it works. I'm gonna prove it. Or die. Okay. Just need to make some final preparations. When I enter the machine, I will travel clockwise around the corridor. Okay. Core is active. Chronon levels are stable. Travel clockwise around the corridor, exiting back into the same location in the near future. Oh. This clock is set to my watch. Now, when I exit the machine, there should be a significant difference in time between my watch and the clock in this room. The corridor is locked in place. Okay, setting the date to five minutes to the future for the first test. Now, admittedly, traveling to the past would be much more impressive. But I can't travel backwards in time, only as far as the first activation of the machine's core, which is, well, now. Machine's ready. Monitor is stable. What I'm about to do is gonna change the very fabric of it. You've got to be kidding me. What is it? This is all my stuff from our family home. He kept everything. Hmm. Huh. Guess he thought you might come back. Is that...? Yep. Will's personal psychiatrist. Wanna get her a try? I think that giraffe's holding enough baggage. Toto. That's my 
my signature. You made this? I've never even been here before. That woman in the picture is you, isn't it? So... Jack. There's something you should know. 1999. I was eight years old, playing in my backyard, and a woman approached me, told me she was from the future. She gave me very specific details of events that would come to pass. She gave me this. Filled with dates, events, proof of it all. Jack, that woman. It was you. Everything I told myself would happen, did. Every detail, for better or worse, came to pass and couldn't be changed. Our fate is laid out before us, Jack. Everything that happened to get us here, every sacrifice that was made, they're all a part of this path. And they can't be changed or undone. Beth. When we step in that time machine, you will see for yourself. All right. If you're that sure about how all this works, we can try your way. Looks climbable. Controls way up there. That's exactly the kind of question that never would have. Shit. Still getting used to that. Don't expect to. <laughs> all right, all lights are green. doing this. I'll set the date into the console. July 4th, 2010. Are you ready? No. Are you? No.